Hello. Welcome back to Level 1 News. Uh-huh. Or, nope. I've been saying that definitely, for so long. Definitely not the Level 1 News. It's Level 1 Variety Hour. Whatever. It's not always an it's hour. It's not always an it? hour, yeah. <laughs> so the, the show. Welcome back to the show. Today is July 22nd, and we're doing Space and Nonsense. There's no robot stories because robots are expensive and nobody's well, spending on it. There's one robot story. Oh. Exactly one. Self-driving cruise taxi crashes with passengers on board. This was the day after they started taking money to pass to do self driver yeah. So what happened here is uh, a an unprotected left turn, which means you're turning on a green without an arrow. Mm-hmm. So this uh, Prius, this robot Prius, started into the turn. And then when there was a, another car coming the other way, and it was like, oh, there's a car coming the other way. So what did it do? Stopped in the intersection. Oh, it's like a bad teen driver. Yeah, yeah. And got smashed. There were injuries in this crash as well. I think they were minor, but still. I'd be suing for my medical bills. Yeah. And of course you would sue because it's a big company on the yeah. other end of that. And they were also at fault. It took a day for this to go into the public record. I wonder if somebody was like, we got we to gotta get ahead of this. Don't put it out yet. Don't put it out uh, yet. Well, then I think the the counter thing was like, well, the person who was driving on the other side who hit it, they were they were speeding a little bit. And it's like, well, your car should be able to. Right. People are going to speed. Yeah. that's we're gonna, You have to account for that. Uh, also, these same taxis have been reported. Uh, Chevy Bolts are like we were talking about with the connectivity thing. They're losing their signal and just stopping. Right. So they, people around the city are like, oh, yeah, we see those all the time. Just just, yeah. Around. And what's crazy is like, that's a city. There should yeah. be plenty of connection in a city. Yeah. So and when they do shut down and all that stuff, it's not like they like safely go to it. No, they just stop. They're just like, oh, I, we're I, done here. I can't call home, which makes you wonder if they're robots at all and not just somebody in a shipping container driving these things with a, a Logitech wheel. <laughs> oh. Not even that they're using a mouse and keyboard like in GTA. <laughs> Binary. Drop. Here I was like, God, why is this thing so jerky? <laughs> Man, this person sucks. <laughs> and that was our only robot story. But we've begun putting space in the robot section to kind of fill it out. Seems like the recession has hurt the robot trade quite a bit. Yeah. But we do have a fantastic image from this new guy. Which you've probably seen posted a hundred times this week. First images from James Webb Space Telescope. Scroll down so they can see that. If in case they have somehow missed it, it's hard to get it. That's a beautiful Look at photo. This tiny little scroll bar. I hate this browser. That's uh, impressive, though. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's amazing to think that that's out there. There was a, a meme going around that like this looks like the coast of I think Algeria, North Africa. People were like, "Wow, it's exactly the same." And I'm like, "Well, it's it's kind of just a." Yeah, but those mountains aren't made of Algerian soil. Yeah. Nor are they even mountains. Beautiful. Well, uh, what is your prediction, Krista? What year will we have people living on the moon? I don't think in my lifetime. I think maybe by like 2035 we might. You think? A couple of people. We could, yeah. Well, it depends on the, the economics, right? How quickly do we rebound from this? Do we go to war with China? Is World War Three in the in the, in the cards? cards. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm just thinking about like, <laughs> will the climate disasters let up? More reason to go to the moon, right? I guess there's no yeah no weather up there. So if we do go to the moon, Japan has a plan. Japan wants to bring artificial gravity to the moon. This was uh, I think commissioned as some sort of like contest thing where they're like, let's talk about how we would build a moon base, and this was their proposal. So it these, looks very cool. These things are going to spin and uh, create that artificial gravity. 1G, just like on Earth. They also have a sort of like a ecological plan for storing food and animals and, you know, like taking a piece of our ecology and putting it up there. And also for storing water. As well as what they call a hexatrack, which will be a three-part moon base between the moon and and uh, one of Mars moons and one orbital station here on Earth. Kind of like an interstate. Mm. Interplanet. Bucky's already bought some real estate <laughs> along the hexatrack. <laughs> if 
a cheesesteak burrito costs nine ninety nine at regular Bucky's. What does a cheesesteak burrito cost at Moon Bucky's? Minimally twenty dollars. I would say fifty. Yeah, because I mean they got to transport all that stuff up there. Plus, you have to exchange your Earth credits to Moon credits. And you lose 10%. Oh, just, yeah, it's yeah, expensive. Transaction fees. But if you have the Tesla app installed, you get a 10% coupon. <laughs> and you can recharge your suit for free. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Plus, they have that nice blueberry scent in their oxygen tanks. Mm. I really like that. It's actually just Elon Musk farts put in, pumped into your suit. Because by that time, old man Elon will be trying to defeat death by only consuming blueberries. Yes. Well... Bennu is an asteroid that's up there floating around, and we actually have a spacecraft that's up there hanging out with it, trying to sample it, trying to get its soils. But we underestimated this a- this asteroid and its natural defenses against alien spacecraft. Asteroid Bennu nearly swallowed up NASA's sampling spacecraft. This was a few years ago, I guess. Was it 2020 when this happened? I don't know. But I guess the the... Asteroid, yeah, they said, was almost like a liquid, which yeah. the machine did not account for. Well, so, there's no liquid, but the the rocks were so loose. Yeah, it, it behaved it's, like a liquid. You you think of it as like, you know, on Earth, the gravity just smushes everything together. But yeah. out there, it's just like a loose. So the little lander tried to land, and it's like quicksand. <laughs> just going in. So, But they blasted it out, and uh, I, I think we did get some rocks. So Yeah, I think they're analyzing it. them now. <laughs> There's no sound in space, but when it landed, it made that sound. Yeah, and I bet when it came out. Although probably not, because again, there's no liquid. <laughs> Little rover's just crying. I almost died. Why did you send me there? You told me it was different. My God, the New York Post. Look at how Ugh. cluttered this website is. Disgusting. Fit more clickbait. But uh, this is a, a terrible thing. And of course, let's look at the cities it's happening in. Portland, Seattle, Philadelphia, D.C. What do all those places have in common? Drug problems. Starbucks to close 16 U.S. stores because of crime and rampant drug use. Now, if you recall, Starbucks had that very, very... uh, There was big PR about them opening up their bathrooms because some people were told they could not use the bathroom because they looked homeless and people suspected that they were going to use it for this purpose... But it was a race thing, and it was a big thing, and so they're like, ah, everybody can use the bathroom at a Starbucks. We don't ask questions. We love everybody. And now, a couple of years later... <laughs> it's like, oh. oh. So many needles in the bathroom that they're just going to have to shut the stores down. I think... This might not be true, so if you're someone who's from this area, let me know. But I think in Europe, don't most bathrooms charge... It's amazing Mm. that hasn't happened yet in the U.S. Well, there are plenty of places in the U.S. where they will tell you not to use it unless you buy something. Yeah. Which is kind of the same thing. That's true. But like public restrooms that you don't have to pay for are a staple in America in a way I think that is not true in a lot of places Mm. overseas. Now, personally, if you're going to charge me a dollar and you can guarantee that I'm in there by myself the entire time, and there's not going to be any needles. Yeah. And somebody sweeps it. There's five, toilet paper. Yeah. It's clean. Yeah. Five or six times a day to make sure that it's then okay. Yeah, maybe. Or you could build a business whose whole business model is bathrooms. Bucky's. Uh, Although you can't put those everywhere. Wendell, if Wendell was here, he would have a lot of thoughts about oh, yeah. Yeah, bathrooms and their cleanliness. I bet his threshold for paying for public bathrooms is way higher than ours. Oh, yeah. He'd probably pay a lot more, yeah, too. Sure. Yeah. Well, uh... Cold case stories are often interesting. I think the most inter- interesting thing about them is the offenders, how their lives have gone since then. Yeah. And they're usually so mundane. Yeah, like the Golden State Killer. Yeah. He had a daughter, wife, like no one knew. And this guy, very similar. Tech CEO arrested in 1992 Mountain View cold case slaying after DNA breakthrough. That's a bad headline because Slate? arrested in 1992, it's not clear if he was arrested in 1992 or if it was a 1992. Yeah, movie. and then also the word slaying. It seems like you would just say murder, but. Well, it has to be convicted, right? I guess. Alleged. Right yeah, now. yeah. You, let's really critique the editor of this article. <laughs> so this young lady was strangled. Oh. They found his 
Prince on the outside of the vehicle, but he was friends with her boyfriend or roommates with her boyfriend or something like that. So it wasn't outside the possibility that he could have touched that vehicle at some point. Two hung juries. They went after this guy twice because they knew he did it. Yeah. And uh, they couldn't get it. But now with some recent DNA evidence, they found his DNA on the rope. Mm. So they got him. They could never prove that he was inside the car, but his DNA on the rope does put him inside the car. So wow. He will be tried again. I hope they televise it because I love watching court cases now. What's your what's one are you following right now? Right now I'm not following one right now. I'm doing mostly uh cops pulling other other cops for DUIs and police impersonators. <laughs> oh my god, the police impersonator videos are fantastic. That's the thing that, you know, as a woman you hear that a lot where it's like if you are on a like a dark road or something and a cop tries to pull you over, you call dispatch or call nine one one and say, yeah. Hey, I'm on this road, I'm going this way to like a more populated area i mean obviously it's being condensed to like we're seeing all of them all at once on these youtube channels so it seems like more than it is but still it's a lot it's more than you would think yeah, yeah. it's more than zero which is what it should be and boy the cops not like that yeah they really go out of their way to although i don't think the da's necessarily prosecute it like you think they would because most of these guys are non-violent they're just annoying <laughs> you know they're just a horrible pr problem for your profession that already has a pr problem <laughs> yeah well, Russia has been locked out of a lot of sporting leagues. They're no longer allowed in the, the tennis league, the cricket league, soccer leagues got rid of them, right? And so you got sports fans in Russia. They're looking to bet on stuff. What do you do? Well, if you're an Indian entrepreneur. India, how a fake IPL cricket league ran for Russian punters. So here it is. This is the broadcast. This is just an empty field somewhere. <laughs> It just looks like my backyard. So, literally, it was somebody's yeah. backyard. They pointed out how almost all of the plays didn't get to the outfield because there was no outfield. They couldn't cut the camera to another view. Ooh. But people were betting on it, and it was out there for a while because they're so desperate for sports, I guess. But now they have busted this and uh, shut it down. Mm. They'd made it to the finals. These guys were responsible. The guys on, sitting on the ground. The, the guys standing are the law enforcement, I believe. Not sure why they don't have uniforms. What's that photo? I can't that's, read the caption. That's cricket stuff. Oh, okay. So they had, you know, like all the gear and stuff and everything just piled up somewhere. <laughs> they were all using the same Just gear. in a shed, yeah. It's wild. Do you think the guys who were the fake players, like when they were out at the club picking up girls, they were like, yeah, I play professional cricket. <laughs> they don't ask what league but I did play. well I just show them on YouTube it's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah look, look at all these games here I am we're in the quarterfinals and India man following the Elon Musk plan I wish they wouldn't I wish they would stop please please people of India please stop India is set to overtake China as the world's most populous country in 2023 UN says but that is how it works because now China is moving into that sort of like middle class. They also had the effects of the one child policy too, where people... Now they're begging them to go back to three. Yeah. They're, they're actually asking some of the women who are in their 40s who only had the one because of the one child, go back and have the other two in your 40s. Ugh. Yeah. So uh, usually when your country moves into like that higher economic bracket, your birth rate falls off a cliff because there's... The children you don't need the help. They become burdens rather than help because you're not agrarian anymore. But in India, they are still behind that curve and they're just accelerating into that where China was when China had the one child policy, mm -hmm. whereas India has nothing. So, which means. And India is also a large country, too. They cover a large area of the continent. That means that I'm sure that uh, Foxconn and all the big fabs, all the chip companies, all the car manufacturers are scrambling to set up. Cheap, cheap labor in India. India and uh, Bangladesh. So like clothing, a lot of times it's not made in China anymore. It's made in Vietnam or Bangladesh. So if you're looking to set up a Frank Reynolds sweatshop, don't go to Vietnam. <laughs> go to India. This is a story we've covered four times already, I think. It keeps, yeah. it keeps getting batted around. Different uh, DNA study laboratories will report different things. I don't know what to believe at this point. 
Judge rules Subway can be sued over claims that its tuna sandwiches contain other fish species or animal products. Now, this is one of those rulings that doesn't actually rule on what we think it does. This judge is not saying whether or not there's tuna in this sandwich. He's just saying, yes, you can bring a lawsuit against them. And the reason he's saying that is because Subway came back to one of these arguments and said, hey, if you look at our sandwich artists, that's what they call them, uh. they might cut your sandwich open with a knife that could have been in something else right before that. So when you do these DNA tests, we believe that any non-tuna that you're detecting is probably contaminant from that knife. So this judge said, well, your menu says 100% tuna. So if you're telling me that what you sold this person was not 100% tuna, I'm going to let this case go forward. <laughs> Marketing strikes again. <laughs> I, I do kind of think, I, I haven't been to Subway in a long time. I used to get it a lot when we streamed at the office, but like, I'm trying to remember, do they really use the same knife on all the meat? What if someone has an allergy? I think they clean it. There, there's several knives, but they definitely use them over and over. Well, yeah. I would think they would clean it between sandwiches. But maybe not. How <sighs> you have time? You're in a lunch yeah. rush? Also, do you know that Subway, they're now trying to transition from that model to you don't get to customize To choose, the yeah. yeah. I heard that. They have 12 sandwiches now. I don't remember what the menu was. As someone with a little bit of social anxiety, that actually makes me feel a little better because the first time I went into a Subway... <laughs> I was overwhelmed with options. I was like, I don't know how this works. What's the process here? You're willing to give up what you want on a sandwich to not have to... To just be able to, yeah, like not feel the stress of like, what do you want? Do you want it toasted? Do you want this topping? Do you want that topping? I don't know. Stop asking me questions. Stop yelling at me. I'm astonished uh, how expensive those sandwiches are now from Subway. Because once you start customizing, they start nickel and diming you really hard these days. Yeah. I haven't been to Subway, like I said, in a long time, so I haven't gotten a sandwich. They used to be pretty cheap. Yeah, they used to be the most popular fast food in the world, too, and not anymore. Not anymore, yeah. Well, maybe not the world, but definitely the U.S. Here's a disgusting headline, and as someone who, like I say, I watch a lot of YouTube channels, although it's mostly uh, the collar cams. It's the cops themselves. Mm. Thanks to the Freedom of Information, we can actually watch that. But still, this is going to be abused so much. Yeah. And it's ridiculous, and especially... Look at what we just saw coming out of Uvalde. Yeah. Look at George Floyd. Look at all these things that we have that we know that we might not have known in the past. And now they're saying, oh, no, no, no more of that. We can't have that. Arizona makes it illegal for bystanders to record cops at close range. Updated. What The thing is, is like, what does close stand? Eight feet. So it says eight feet unless the cop feels that you're interfering. In whatever's happening. Whatever the right. cop feels is could be, you know, get back in your house and turn off your phone. Now there is in your house is protected. So if you're like if the cop is on your front porch and you're like in the window filming, you should film. You shouldn't film very good. No. Uh, then you're okay, but once again the cop's discretion gets to be inserted there. Well there were there was footage during the George Floyd protests where like Someone was sitting on their porch. The cops walked by and the guy the guy was like, stop filming. And then he shot like a, a flare or something at the people sitting on their own porch. Oh, so. yeah. Cops hate being filmed. Yeah. Because they're usually not following the letter of the law. And firing a flare at someone sitting on their porch. It's astonishing. Yeah. It's astonishing what they get away with. But this was some, I can't remember. Let's, let's try to find the name of this stupid lawmaker who supported this. I don't know. You know what? Read the article for yourselves. We don't, we don't have to do everything for you. <laughs> you a, guys can read, I hope. Look, this is not a news program. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of more an entertainment. I mean, we do curate what stories we do, but... I think, or random websites we visit. I think some people wouldn't know this stuff, right? Because you do have to kind of dig to get some of this stuff. Yeah. Well, and even, even so, like, even we miss stuff sometimes. So, you know, if we miss a nuance, let us know in the comment. I'm not good at pronouncing this. Glyphosate. Glyphosate? Mm -hmm. I would say glyphosate, but I think you're right. Glyphosate. Yeah, no, because I I had a forester come out and she said there are some invasive weeds you can only kill with this. Which I guess is why this is the case, but... Well, the people use it on their lawns for everything. I'm a... Uh, yeah, I'm a little worried about this, but what can you do, right? Like, what can don't, I do? I don't use it on mine, but... But I don't think it matters because you're not drinking water out of your yard. Yeah. 
Or you're not eating, runoff is a big problem. You're not eating cows that were grazing in your yard. Yeah. So I don't know I how much be. how much you can get. You should <laughs> definitely be getting cows. Oh, we forgot to mention you are a brand new fur mommy again. Well, kind of. So a, a mama cat, a single mother, appeared on our porch the other day, and she has three precious little baby kittens. They're very cute. You've not named them yet, right? I have not named oh. the kittens. We've been calling the mama cat just mama. But. Engagement challenge. Oh, yeah. What should we name the kittens? I There's two black be, ones and one little gray tabby. I think they should be recession related. Yeah. Well, I, I suggested because there's four. I was like war, death, pestilence, famine. But it's maybe a little too yeah, dark. Yeah, but the mom can't be. It can't be a group and include the mom. She has to be separate. Yeah. I've, I've been calling the mom mama. So what should we name the kittens? But we're probably going to take them to a spay and neuter clinic and then probably just re-release them. But I, I found out. I was talking to my neighbor. I was like, they're just so thin. And he was like, oh, no, my wife's been feeding them, too. So, like, half the neighborhood is probably feeding those cats. They're just not mm. eating as much. You got neighborhood cats. Yeah. That would be good for your pest population. Yeah. I mean, bad for your pest population, but good for you. Yeah. Anyway, none of that has anything to do with the poison that's in our land and yeah. water. Weed killer glyphosate found in most Americans' urine. People use this to control any kind of weed, like dandelions, anything that just grows up in the cracks, that sort of stuff. Plantain you know, really good beneficial weeds that grow in your lawn and it has appeared everywhere. This also points out, like, how would they know this? And it's because they are monitoring the sewage water now mm -hmm. because of the pandemic. But if the pandemic goes away, this won't. Yeah. They will always be monitoring our feces and urine from now on. Man, that's bad news for uh, Bayer and Monsanto, isn't it? Well, they already lost that big lawsuit. I remember the guy who used it every day at his job? He and got like cancer. His yeah. whole body was cancer. Ugh. Like they were like, uh, you have a tumor. Where? No, you don't understand. You are a tumor. <laughs> there's there's no human left. <laughs> they gave him a lot of money. But I mean, what's he going to do with it? How's he going to enjoy uh, it? I guess his family. This is such a great story. Because when you think about uh, Tolkien and Robert Jordan and all these guys who built these massive fantasy worlds and tied them all together and like kept those threads that's such an impressive thing to do and this woman did it for no other reason than just she just was for the lulls she was just bored at home a bored chinese housewife spent years falsifying russian history on wikipedia so many people who were probably like students trying to write history papers probably got screwed over by this woman. Well, that's exactly what happened. Somebody was looking for like, I want to write a historical novel based in Russia. So let me go to Wikipedia and try to find some cool stuff that happened in Russia. And I can write about that. And he found something really great and he was researching it. And when he went to, he actually, she, she did references. She actually re put references because you have to on Wikipedia. Right. So he went to confirm the references and to read the source books because he wanted to write his book. There is no sorts. They don't exist. Wow. None of it's real. She had whole swaths of Russian history, dynasties, places that never existed, all interconnected and all like one long timeline that actually worked. She shouldn't write a novel. She doesn't speak Russian. Only she made up names that were so convincing that no one noticed. How about that? Crazy. She apologized, and uh, I don't know if when's her book coming out. I don't know if it's a crime. Uh, the knowledge I have right now is not enough to make a living in the future. I will learn to craft, work conscientiously, and not do pointless things like this anymore. <laughs> I I want to read her fantasy novel. Yeah, well, they took it down. I guess uh, they should keep that for. Uh, as a creative writing exercise. Yeah, she also had alt accounts that would defend her work. In case anybody questioned it. Wow. We've seen people do that before, but they were usually trying to accomplish something. They're trying to get an idea out there or defend something or whatever. But yeah, advertise something. Yeah. She was just bored. I'm kind of here for that. I mean, probably shouldn't have edited the official wiki pages, but <laughs> an interesting idea. How about the fact that nobody called her on it until... Yeah, how, it took author, her a long time. Yeah. yeah. How many college papers were written? See, the, some of that stuff. the pro, I guess not really criminal, but it is maybe a little cheaty. The pro criminal tip when you're writing a paper in college is you read the Wikipedia for the like high level overview and then you click on each of the sources and then Cyphos. get the sources. Yeah. Well, yeah, or you go look them up. But 
it's amazing that it took that long for someone to actually look at the sources and be like, wait a second. I bet she's sad now. I bet she's got nothing to do. Oh, she should put that together in a book. Well, the we were on like week three or four. Once a week, we get a more disgusting headline out yeah. of this horrible city. Well, I guess the city's not horrible, but the police force certainly is. And apparently, uh, none of the people who work for this police force understand irony. Uvalde Mayor condemns chicken media for releasing school shooting video. Yeah, chicken. Real cowardice mm. showing us that. How dare you? Now, they do bring up the, uh, and we talked about this before we started filming, but the guy who had the Punisher logo on his phone and was checking his phone, his wife was dying in the hospital. I think she was actually dead at the time. So he was waiting for an update on that. That you can forgive. Yeah. But all the rest of it, there is no explanation. Just waiting. They can hear people screaming in the background and they're like, okay. Yeah. And the, the door turned out not to be locked, right? Yeah. It's just It just gets wilder and wilder every time we look at it. Uh, they said some words here that we're not allowed to say, but God, that like apparently these people don't have mirrors in their homes. Disgusting. I can't believe this. Like, how do you not have any moment while you're saying that of like, could this be turned on me? Is, is, am I describing myself? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe to prevent your own suicide, you have to shut that part of your brain down. I guess. Otherwise, it would scream at you day in and day out. Now, uh, Chrissy, you and I both agree that it should be a war crime to use the thumbs up in teams. Yes. Because Because it it gives you a notification. It triggers a notification in a different tab. Yeah. And you have to go to that tab and click on that tab to make it stop blinking. I found a setting to turn that off, but it's not off by default. Who wants that? It's ridiculous. But everybody likes to do it. Everybody wants to use the emoji. And it is. It's like, okay, thank you is such a a ridiculous thing to say because everybody says it. But you have to because it's courteous. But for but, me, it's harder like in emails. It's like, how do I convey this that I'm being friendly and not being and, ass? <laughs> and the default, it seems to be, certainly for the younger generation, everything's got to have a smiley, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you remember when people were or using... Or an exclamation point. When LOL was overused yeah. so much, I guess the smiley is now that. And now, it's to the point where if you don't use the smiley, it's interpreted as aggression. <sighs> Queensland cafe worker unfairly dismissed for not using smiley emojis in text message. My question is, if you're a cafe worker, why is your boss texting you? Well, that's just how people communicate. It was multiple. So they owned more than one location. Right. So the person who was fired managed one location. And I think the owner was at another location. Mm. But the argument was about the owner scalping all of their best workers from that location and moving them to the new one. Uh Ah, So she was angry and she was saying, hey, we need hires here because you're taking all of our workers. She was not smiley about this. Right. But the owner felt like a smiley was required. What a... It's amazing they had any employees at all. That's like I used to have a manager who would always be like, smile. Like if you were just, you know, cleaning your register or whatever. Smile. You should always be smiling. And I was like... Man, I do not need people working at a place to smile no i don't care yeah as long as you do your job you know if you don't want to talk to me even i get it you talk to people all day i don't want to talk to you either yeah let's just do the minimum of what we have to do we'll be courteous to one another we'll get a nod maybe yeah i don't like an acknowledgement of like hello i don't want to walk past the greeter every time but i don't want to interact with the greeter either yeah. I'll give you a head nod. That's the, all I'm giving The you. greeter is there not because they care about greeting you, but because they're trying to do loss prevention. You know what would make me feel better? If as I walked in, instead of being like, oh, hello, they'd be like, don't steal. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, I won't. <laughs> they rack a shot. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you know, I'm watching these? you. <clears throat> Here's uh, one of these headlines where like the UK lingo is so confusing. Henry Hoover, I guess, is a brand of vacuum cleaner. Even though Hoover's also a brand, right? Anyway, this guy was 
It was a vacuum cleaner. That's what you have oh, to understand okay. about this. Yeah. Former Banbury area passenger is sentenced at Northampton Court after performing a sexual act on a Henry Hoover... Actually, it says acts, plural. On a Henry Hoover at church. Well, he kissed it on the neck after he was done. <laughs> so they got a picture of this here. Uh, oh, wait, is that a courthouse? Crown and oh, County that's Courts. that's a courthouse. I thought that was a picture of the place. So it made me think like the transparent doors were the reason. So what happened here is... Whether he meant to or not, and I would think that if I was going to do this, if I was going to have sex with a vacuum cleaner, I would close the blinds first, wouldn't you? Pro, pro deviant. <laughs> but this guy, I think he might have been wanting to be seen. He was in the church with an open window, with the lighting in such a way that you know they could easily see in, having his way with his vacuum cleaner. And some old ladies walked by and they saw it and they reported him. And uh, he admits, yes, he was doing it, but he didn't know that anybody could see him. Maybe not even do that at the church, right? Maybe take it home. Yeah. Or get your own one for the home. Maybe it was like a really nice industrial high pressure one. Seems like that could be dangerous. It's high sucking action. <laughs> uh, and more Sri Lanka news. Now the president, who I think is the ultimate power. They've got a prime minister and a president, but the president's the one that people cared about. The prime minister previously quit. A new one came in, but then they were like, no, 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 no. You're the problem. So he fled the country and wrote an epic email. Sri Lankan president resigns by email after fleeing to Singapore. Interestingly enough, the parliament or maybe it was the prime minister, whoever it was, said, well, yeah, we got this, but it's an email. So we're not even sure <laughs> if it's actually them or if it's. Yeah. And so we're going to have to confirm this, but they're working on confirming it. And of course, no one, no one wants him. No one wants him back. They're just texting him, bro. Hey. And uh, they have brought in the military. There is now a curfew. There's a big lockdown. They're just trying to oh, keep people. We were just making jokes about whether Delta flew into Sri Lanka earlier. Well, that's not Delta. No, that's but it's a plane. Saudi. Saudi? A Boeing Dreamliner. Mm. That's the one that went out of the country, though. That's the one that took him. Ah. So I don't know if they're coming in. They uh, broke into his palace and uh, ate his food. He had stockpiled a bunch. Uh, yeah. Which I feel like everybody's maybe doing a little bit right now. It's a bad time to be uh. a Sri Lankan for sure. I hope they somehow come out of that. I hope they somehow come out of that without the Communist Party being in charge. Because I feel like there's going to be a lot of Belt and Road money flooding in there. Going into people's pockets. Snoop Dogg is... Uh, I guess he's moved into selling weed. He now has a weed business because it's legal out there in California. He also sells alcohols, like several alcohols. That makes sense. You know, uh, it's, it's on brand. He sells a wine. When I think we should about, drink that for the, the once a uh, year. I bet it's expensive. If, if you're asking me like, hey, who should I go to in order to get some weed that's really going to get on top of me? I would trust you if you said Snoop Dogg. I would also trust. Like he's really got the brand recognition down. Yeah, I feel like he knows. So... I trust the judgment. Uh, although I would expect him to be uh, a lefty, I guess he's not. Snoop Dogg mocks Biden with Sleepy Joe OG weed strain. <laughs> I I saw this photo earlier this week, and I assumed it was fake, but it's apparently real. I like how they got the Ukraine flag back in there as part of the joke. This is excellent, excellent uh, packaging, don't you think? It's kind of it's the iconic. Uh, Hope and change poster, Obama style, is what they've done. Three grams. I wonder what uh, pro or uh, engagement challenge. If you guys have ever bought Snoop Dogg weed, what does three grams of Joe Biden weed cost? Oh yeah. Does it not say in that Instagram post? I would think since that's marketing. Nah, you won't tell you what the price is. It also is might be dependent on the uh, dispensary themselves. They probably, oh yeah. They probably mark it up a little bit. Also. How expensive is packaged weed? I don't even know what you pay for weed. Well, it's heavily taxed in California, so it's you know doesn't reflect the street price. I don't think. Uh. Snoop has also apparently been printing a lot of uh, or reposting a lot of Biden memes. I'm not a fan of the man, I guess. Uh. That's a good one. Snoop looks really good for his age. Isn't he in his sixties? He's pretty old, yeah. yeah. I mean, his heyday was, I think he was young when he started. I think he was 19 when he started rapping, but that was early 90s. Yeah. 
Also in great shape too. You ever see Snoop with his shirt off? No. He's no, skinny. I don't. He's skinny, but he's like wiry and mm-hmm. like really ripped. He must have a great diet. Or plus, maybe he works out a lot. Plus smoking all that weed, you think he'd have the munchies? I guess not. Maybe you hit a once or, you consume enough of it, like it turns off or something. Or maybe he purposely keeps like munchies in his house that are, you know, healthy or whatever. He probably has a private chef. Yeah. A private weed like munchie chef. What a great life. Now, we see a lot of people who go through insane surgeries to transform themselves. This one is extreme, but also it's crazy that you would do something like this and spend this kind of money and then regret it so much that you undo it. Women, women, woman spent 600K to be Kim Kardashian, now paying 120K to detransition. Here's the thing. Oh, yeah. Kim Kardashian doesn't even look like Kim Kardashian anymore. <laughs> Her face changes so much, you'd never be able to keep up. So obviously a lot of facial reconstruction type stuff here, but also oh. butt implants, hip modifications, and fat regular fat injections in the butt to try to keep that apple bottom that Kim that's, is so famous for. It's hilarious because like they all edit their photos too, so like it's just not realistic. You think this is real, or is this edited? Not the that, one the that, right. I, was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably edited, but I mean, I'm talking about the Kardashian photos. They edit their photos heavily. But I'm saying, like, is this? She's trying to show off how close she is. Did she also edit this to get closer? Is oh, this probably, real? yeah. Anyway, she said that she was. Uh, she didn't like the fame of being famous for surgeries, and she became addicted to surgeries. So she should have stopped earlier. But the hilarious thing about that statement is that in order to go back. More surgery. She has to have another surgery, yeah. <laughs> so she might still be chasing that dragon. <sighs> I can't imagine being addicted to surgeries. Is it the pain pills, you think? No, I think it's it's literally just you don't have like a strong sense of self or you're so insecure about how you look that you think just one more and then I'll feel I'll feel good about myself. And maybe you do for a little bit, but then you start having those insecurities again and that's well, how you deal with it she mentioned that she would go in for a surgery and because she was already famous as the kim kardashian woman that would always get a headline so when she would get over the surgery all of a sudden the wave of publicity would hit yeah she liked that right and it so makes her feel like, important yeah. it makes her feel you know less sad anything. about herself although i don't think many people were positive about it were they it's cheating no but again i mean i think that's that's the way it typically works when you get that sort of image obsession we all know that methamphetamine is a big problem. Uh, the poorer your community is, the worse it is. And oh boy, is there a lot of it here. Uh, but here in Kentucky, of course, you know, famous for horses. No one expected this. Prairie Meadows racehorse test positive for meth. Ooh. Now you think that they're mething up the horses to try to get them to run faster? No, that's not what happened here. There was a groomer for the horse who was on meth. And they put the the mouthpiece in the horse. Mm -hmm. That was enough. Those horse drug tests are so intense. Wow. That's all it took. So the horse still won the race, technically. If you bet on that horse, you still won. But they took the winnings back and officially took the win back from the horse. And the groomer's been fired. Wow. If you were the owner, how angry If I was the horse. (laughs) <laughs> the horses probably got carrots either way <laughs> i ran my heart out that day yeah plus i had a headache later i don't know what that was about oh yeah i felt terrible uh billionaires certainly getting some bad publicity mr musk bill gates my god he has turned into an absolute villain i mean he was never really popular but in his old age he's like basically sauron at this point and uh people not fans of them especially now that we're all getting poorer. So how can you capitalize on that? Art collectives billionaire popsicles let people literally eat the rich while making themselves richer in the prog- process. I don't think they get any of this. They kind of got like a Japanese. These are like, uh, there's like the Sonic and the Pikachu popsicles. It's like the same style. Yeah, so uh, they have fun names for them. Uh, Snack on Jack. That would be Dorsey. Mm-hmm. By Bezos, Jeff, of course. Gobble Gates, that's Bill Gates. Suck Zuck. Mm. That one's not as strong. Uh, yeah, that, I, uh. I know, that didn't make me want ice cream. And uh, Munch Musk. You can only get these on ice cream trucks in New York and Columbus Circle. Do you think that makes you nervous at all if you're one of those billionaires or do you just like whatever? 
I think if I'm one of those billionaires, my entire life is nervous. Uh. Hope, hoping no one ever finds out the skeletons and hoping that things don't get bad enough that my security team turns on me. I've seen clips of like Bezos out in public where people are starting to like scream at him in the street. Uh, did you see there's any nerve wracking moments there? They uh, successfully stopped his yacht thing from happening. His yacht. Is oh, yeah. 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 He's stuck there. How sad. Oh, that's tragic for him. If I was him, I'd get on it and like go next to that bridge and have a sound system that. <laughs> Punish the like, people. Yeah. yeah. That's a good way to really get on their good side. <laughs> well, listen. You can't tell me what to do. I'm Jeff Bezos. Do you know how much money I make? Uh, perhaps the descent of our society, the spiral that we're currently in. Oh, I getting, saw this the other week. Getting closer and closer to the the bottom of the bowl, as it were. Mm. This is certainly an indicator, I would think. Billboard in Inverness, Florida, reminds dads not to drunkenly assault their daughters. She's your daughter, not your date. Oh. I... I just can't imagine, like, let's say the, that you are that person and you're driving down the road. You were thinking about it and yeah. then you're like, oh, thank goodness I saw that billboard. You're having a Miller tall boy you know, you're driving, while you're driving yeah. and you say to yourself, huh, would that be wrong? Would that be wrong what I'm planning to do later tonight? Never considered it. The screams and tears have never moved me before. Uh, but this billboard, it's changed my mind. I don't understand who thought this was a good idea. So like we have a, I don't know if this is the same everywhere, but like there's the child abuse awareness month or whatever, but they're never this tone deaf. It's literally just like, you know, child well, abuse awareness, like help a kid. I think they did mention in the article that uh, this was born from like statistics. It's happening well, more than you would think. Yeah. But I, I don't understand why you'd focus on, the guy who's probably not going to care and not like figuring out how to get resources to someone who's trapped in that cycle. Well, they do give a phone number. So maybe the daughter could see it and call it. But I mean, the message, call 911. yeah, the message is focused on the dad. She's your date. Not also you're not his date. You know, I mean, you could be in this position. Somebody comes to you and they're like, Oh, Hey, Christy, we need you to design a billboard. And you're like, Oh, awesome. I would love to design a billboard. But then it's that. Oh, yeah. Ugh. That might be one I'd be like, maybe we should go a totally different direction. <laughs> no, they're not going to listen to you. No, they never do. Like, listen, I'm a city councilman. I know what I'm doing. And uh, I got to say, you know, inflation's hitting hard. I've, it's not, I haven't really switched because of inflation, but because of the pandemic supply chain issue, the cat food situation. Mm. And there's cat foods. Oh, I forgot to bring you the cat food for your kittens. Yeah, but the reason I was going to bring Krista cat food for the kittens is because my cats are just like, nah, bro. Not eating that anymore. Cricket has does not have that problem. He will eat his food. He'll try to eat Rue's food. He'll eat scraps of food on the floor, yeah. like anything he can get. I don't know. I don't know. And plus, also, Toast was vomiting there for a while. And so it's like, well, did they change the formula? I don't know. But I'm constantly struggling with this same kind of thing. Penguins refuse to eat cheaper fish as inflation hits the Japanese aquariums. Oh, they're living the high life. They're not used to having to, you know, settle so they would eat uh, mackerel. Yeah, Japanese horse mackerel, which sounds delicious. I'm sure that's a large fish based on the, the mackerel part. Oh, they're both mackerel. But, so they went from Aji mackerel to Saba mackerel. And they described that these penguins were just like, I don't know what this is, but it's not what we eat. So get it out of here. And uh, they just literally flipped it off. Yeah, they would not eat it. They would try to put it in their, right in their face and their beaks and they'd just turn their head. Not having it. So what they're having to do now, because they cannot afford, it's gone up, uh, I think, 50%. Wow. Or no, 30%. I'm sorry. And Still, that's a lot. So what they're having to do is they're having to get the garbage mackerel and mix in some of the old stuff. And then that they'll eat that. Mm. But I don't think they love it. The other thing they mentioned they do here is they cut the number of circulation pumps from two to one. So the fish are <laughs> not getting the oxygen that they used to get. That seems like the last thing you would cut. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is just a feed tank, but. No, I think that's for uh, for everything, right? That's oh, what, for the whole aquarium? It says that re reduced their electricity bill by 50%. So. At what cost? I don't know. I've heard of some local aquariums. I can't remember which one I was reading about. 
they put solar panels on the roof because they're like, we don't know that the grid will be reliable enough to keep the animals alive. Oh, right. Because you've got to keep those pumps running. Yeah. Oh. So we've we've decided to set up our own off-grid system. Wow. That's that's where we're headed. Poor that's, little penguins. Just think about that now. I guess it's too late to just take them and put them back wherever they were. They're right? used to being fed yeah. at this point. I mean, it'd be hard to teach them to hunt. Look yeah. how fat that one is in the middle. Yeah, he's thick. Well, but they're supposed to be fat, right? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. But he's probably the most picky, I bet. <laughs> or the least. Yeah. Maybe he's happy with the new stuff. He's like, oh, you guys are know. crazy. Yeah, why don't this you guys is, like this? This is great. This tastes like Subway tuna. <laughs> That's not tuna. Well, we'll be back next week, but not with news. No, no news. Never news on this channel. This is always just random articles we happen to read. Human interest. Yeah. And I'm sure Wendell will be back and uh, he'll have some stories about his travels. We'll be filming the Q&A as well when he returns. So look out for that video soon. And oh. Float Plane and Patreon users can check out Krista's critique of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Just the marketing part, because I haven't seen the show yet. Well, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist yet. So I'm trying to keep an open mind. But their marketing materials have been pretty bad. So anyway, we check will see you guys. For one US dollar. Bye. Thank you.